Tonight we debut our new series, Small Towns. It's a chance for us to share stories from your community, putting your town on the map. Tonight we focus on Sturgeon Spawning, an event unique not only to the country, but the entire world. In recent years, the spawning run has been growing in popularity, drawing thousands to our region for the site. NBC 26's Eric Crest takes us to Shayokton for tonight's story. Every spring in Shyockton, the Wolf River carries some new company to this community of 900 people. The welcoming party for the thousands of sturgeon. I took them out of school for the day and we did a little field trip. Spills onto the shore and into the streets. We came up a couple of years ago. The traffic was stopped dead still on 54 and there were police directing traffic. In Shyockton, Wisconsin, there's a traffic jam where it brought traffic to a halt. And unless you saw it, you probably wouldn't believe it. For many of the visitors, many who will wait years to spear one of these fish in the dead of winter. It's just a great way to test your patience, too. This is a rare sight to see. You do wait years to see them on, on the big lakes through the, through the ice holes to be able to see them like this. It's just neat to see. What I was surprised to learn is that this is perhaps the foremost sturgeon watching place in the United States. <laughs> For just a few days each year, typically in April. The majority of them probably weigh more than me. You can watch something that most. They kind of look like mini sharks. We'll never have the opportunity to see in person. Just below the surface and occasionally coming just above too. Fish, fish, fish. Right there, right there, right there. In just a handful of spots across the state. We might never get to see this again. Sturgeon are making more sturgeon, contributing to a storyline you'll likely only hear about in Northeast Wisconsin. See it? Yeah. They come here to lay eggs on these special banks managed just for them leaving thousands of future stories in their wake. Or even yeah. next year, it yeah. could be down in Lake Winnebago. That's just so amazing. And with many of these sightseers knowing it could be years until they get this close to a sturgeon again, they'll have to get their fish stories straight. Some of them might not believe that I saw like a hundred pound fish. In Shyockton with photographer Josh Visti, I'm Eric Crest covering small towns for NBC 26. Now, of course, everyone and every town has a very unique story to share, and we would love to hear about one of your kind stories. Shoot us an email at smalltownstories at nbc26.com and help us tell your small town story.